calculate the average using an OR logical test, and we have to use an Excel formula. What that means is if we have Kawhi and Gigi, and we need to look through the sales rep column, we actually have to ask of each row, are you equal to Kawhi or are you equal to Gigi? Once we determine the numbers in the sales column that are Kawhi or Gigi, we simply take those numbers and calculate the average. If we need a formula, there are two good ways to do this. Now, the first way depends on whether or not we can have the field name at the top of the column with our OR conditions. And those two field names have to be spelled exactly the same as the field name in our table. If that's the case, we can use the D function for database, D average. Now, database, you got to have the field names at the top, records in rows. We're going to hit the F4 key to lock it, comma. The field, that's 1, 2, or 3. Which one of the fields has the numbers we want to average? So I'm just going to put a 1. You can also put the actual name of the field also, comma. And then criteria for an OR logical test, field name, and all the OR conditions below. And that is a relative cell reference. Close parentheses, Control Enter. That's pretty easy. And when we copy the formula, hit the F2 key, we could see that works perfectly. Now, if we cannot have the field names to match the field name in the data set up at the top, we'd like to use the average ifs. But all the ifs functions, sum ifs, count ifs, average ifs, they do and logical tests. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to use straight average. And then right inside of average, we'll pick out the numbers we need using the if function. Now, the logical test, we have one column but two conditions. So in parentheses, I'm going to look at sales rep, F4 to lock it. And we'll first ask, hey, are you equal to Kawhi? Close parentheses. Now, F9, that gives me trues and falses, Control Z. And we can't multiply because the math operator for multiplication does an and logical test. But guess what? OR is done with the plus operator. Highlight the column, F4, are you equal to whoever the second teammate is? Now what happens is this is going to have F9, trues and falses. Control Z. Now because we used a math operator here, these trues and falses and these trues and falses will be converted to ones and zeros. Now before we evaluate and see that that's true, envision this logical test. We're asking, do any of the items in this column equal Kawhi? Well, we get our trues and falses. This one's asking, are any of the items equal to Gigi? When we add those together, false plus false equals 0. True plus false equals 1. And false plus true equals 1. So if I highlight and hit the F9 key, there's our result. And those 1s and zeros will be interpreted by the IF function perfectly. Control Z. Now we type a comma. And for value of false, we're going to highlight the sales column, F4. And we don't want to put anything for false, because if we leave it out, a false value will automatically be inserted. And that is what we want. Now, close parentheses and highlighting number one when I hit F9. There, we have filtered out, and we have only the values from this column that are either Kawhi or Gigi. And the false value will be ignored by the average function. Control Z, I come to the end, close parentheses. Now, if you're in any version besides Office 365, this is an array formula. We have an operator, and it's acting on not just a single cell, but an array of cells. So that makes this an array formula. And we have to enter it with the keystrokes Control, Shift, and Enter. As soon as you use that keystroke, you go up and verify that the curly brackets have been put in. That's Excel telling you that it understood that that's an array formula, and it calculated it perfectly. Now I'm going to hit the F2, because if you're in Office 365 with the new Excel calculation engine, then Excel understands array formulas without that special keystroke. So I could hit Enter or Tab. I'm going to hit Control Enter, because I immediately want to copy this. And notice, no curly brackets. Copy it to the side, F2. 
And that formula will work if we don't have the necessary field names at the top of our OR criteria. Now there's another reason that this formula is pretty cool. And here it is. We can actually run an OR logical test and ask a question on one, two different columns. So I can ask the OR logical test, hey, is product equal to quad or is sales rep equal to Abdi? We can see the highlighted numbers. That's exactly what average will get to make the average calculation. And if we were copying this formula, which we're not, this formula would work if we locked all the right cell references. Now let's look at D average. Uh-oh, if we're doing an OR logical test on one, two different columns, we have to set up the criteria argument like this. And that formula, even if we lock the cell references, cannot be copied. But it's still possible. So the more versatile formula that will work in more situations, average if and an array calculation. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. Hey, if you want to check out an epic video all about conditional calculations, including sum ifs, count ifs, average ifs, D functions, and more, check out this video.